What's up guys? We are surviving on the cheap here, John and Pat. We are going to be talking to you today about a tent that is cheap. Very, very cheap. Very cheap. As in $30 cheap. You can buy it at Target. Uh, that's where we've got ours. It is made by Embark, but you can probably find it online too. But for $30, bucks, we will let you know what you think of it. So, I know you're all dying to see this, this tent, so... That's it. That massive hot dog of a tent. Look at that thing. It's, it's rather large. <laughs> which brings us to our first negative about it. Packed up. That oh. is huge. Oh, this is alright. So so this is a two-person tent. Yeah. Two people. And this thing is I mean I didn't do I even have a I do have a tape measure in here. Oh, geez. Straight up. 27 inches long. That is over two feet long. I have backpacks that are smaller than this tent. Yeah. You basically, even if you disassemble it into the, the poles, you have one person carry the poles, you still have to carry the poles on the outside or you have to carry them vertical. Yeah, and the, not... yeah this isn't just because they needed it. The, the poles are this long. Yeah. Like, they're huge. Like, the tent itself could probably fit in a smaller stuff set, but yeah. that's, that's huge. It also weighs kind of a lot for a tent that people would use for backpacking. Six and a half pounds, which yeah, doesn't I mean, sound it's, like a lot. It's not a backpacking tent. It's not marketed as a backpacking tent. It's just a tent. Yeah. It's a cheap tent you can buy. We used them for backpacking on a, like a budget trip up uh, Mount Greylock. Um, so we went over the first thing. So si size packed is monstrous. Yeah, So as you can see. There's real no, no real way to pack it up. So, except just awkwardly <laughs> sticking on your backpack. Yeah. Actually, like with the size, I ended up I needed to bring my big external frame pack because I didn't have a backpack tall enough to fit this tent, and it wouldn't even fit in my in my external frame pack. So I had to strap it onto the bottom. So we would literally him and I both did that, and we would walk by trees and stuff, and we'd just get stuck in it because we had yeah. this two and a half foot pole sticking out on both sides of us. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's pretty massive, a little bit too massive for a backpacking tent, in my opinion. But but because it's packed up yeah. massive, it's it's a good size tent. Yeah. But the size does come with one positive. Setting up the tent, it's seven and a half feet tall or long rather, uh, four and a half feet wide and four feet high. Uh, so yeah. So but I mean, when it's up, it's actually a really big tent. I think the do the way that they have the door on it, it's kind of goofy. Like it's it's longer than it is wide. And I'm used to sleeping with my head. I'm used to sleeping in like Eureka. A-frame tents, like the backpacking A-frame tents, and I mean, like my head is at the door at the window. Yeah, and this on this you're, you're sleeping waist. like the long way. So if you're with two people, yeah. you gotta you gotta crawl. I mean, unless you're at the door, but if you get if you're on the opposite side, you gotta crawl yeah. over somebody. So just a data point. Um, another thing that sucks is the case itself. It is the most pedestrian looking case when you buy it. It has a big thing on the side which we actually cut off. Yeah, it has like in. Instead of it being in a box, they put the box inside the stuff sack. That's why they make the stuff sack square yeah. or rectangular. It comes in a cardboard box. It comes inside. Yeah, the, so so this is how you buy it off the shelf. And you can still see some of it right here. They have like the marketing like label uh, like sewn in to the stuff sack. With like all like the details like two person embark and it's got like a picture of a like, picture of a family like, like two guys and, like a girl a guy and a girl wearing flannel in the middle of nowhere completely photoshopped in yeah but so i mean it's kind it's of ridiculous stupid. the case itself is pretty heavy like it's a very it's very it's like canvas it's canvas yeah it's it's like they were not trying to go lightweight on this thing it's got freaking carry handles like it's a duffel bag which I think they put on there because they realized no one can fit that in the backpack. So like, oh, just, I don't even know what to call it because it's not a stuff sack because you don't stuff anything into it. It's, it's like, a duffel sack. It's a hot dog bun. Look, and and look, bun. Look, look at this. But yeah, so stuff sack, not, not crazy about it. Yeah. Uh, also, the stakes and poles that it comes with are garbage. The stakes, the stakes especially. Yeah. I, I took them out. I set the tent up in the yard. It's like a thing I, it's like a ritual I do before you go on any camping trip, just to make sure I have everything. Because, I mean, we've all done it, gone out into the woods, and then, oh, crap, I have no rain fly. Because, <laughs> like, you take stuff out to let it dry or whatever, and then you just don't, for, don't, you don't remember to put it back in. But while doing that, every, and I don't have, like, rocks or anything, I set it up, like, the grassy side yard I have. 
and every single stake bent just from hand pressure. They just bent over. They're pretty like, garbage. Trash. So I went to Walmart and I bought a couple packs of their aluminum stakes. Highly recommended. Really, like really lightweight. Wicked cheap. They're like two bucks a pack. And they're pretty decent. And I mean, I didn't. They haven't bent on the edge. I've been so. one, but that's because I. That was we were setting up in the rain and I just drove it right into a rock. So. <laughs> yeah. But and the poles that it comes with too. I have a feeling they will probably break sometime soon because they're like any other tent you can buy for this price. Cheap. Fiberglass. Like fiberglass. Light. Poles. Yeah, they're probably gonna split. They haven't yet, so they, I mean, we only used it the one time, and I set it up a couple times in the yard. Yeah, I mean, um, it's more just a just in case tent for us now. But yeah. Uh, also, my personal vendetta against this tent: the footprint. The footprint on this, I don't know. He had no problems with it, but we can actually show it to you. It's 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 just it's very thin, so thin in fact that we were setting up the tent. So it's like a dollar store tarp that yeah, they sewed onto the bottom of it. We, we, I was setting up the tent and we everything was going fine. My girlfriend is inside. She was putting all the, like she was setting up the sleeping bags, pillows, all that stuff. And she calls me. She's like, "Pat, we have a problem." I was like, "Oh God, did she get stung by a bee or something?" Or is it? And I was like, "What? What's wrong? What's wrong?" And then I looked at the floor of the tent. There was a hole in it. A twig. <laughs> a twig went through the bottom of the footprint of the tent and put a hole in it. I'm I'm saying that's your fault. You should have. Knocked all the brush out from underneath you. I'm saying it's a company's fault because a twig that's thinner than this pen <laughs> and wasn't even sharp. It was like trying to poke the, the dull. Like I bet you I could poke a hole with this pen through the bottom of the tent right now with a dull end. <laughs> but it's a pretty garbage footprint. I bet you if it rained hard enough, it would be, you'd be laying in a lake. I'll talk about the. I'll let you talk about the setup and everything. But I'll I'll talk about the the outside of the tent. Um, the fly on it is pretty decent. It's not yeah. like most cheap flies. It actually, it's not just like a little. What are those things? Yamaka. It's not it's like not a little like a yamaka. yamaka. It's, a, it's, <laughs> like, it's more like like a tent hat. Uh, also, the seams on it are taped, which is good for waterproofing. And the storage on the inside of the tent is actually pretty good. It has two pockets where you, we put our feet or where if you put your head there, or whatever. Um, and then it has a overhead. They're actually um, pretty big part. too. Yeah. I put a ton of stuff, so much in fact that I yeah. weighed the, the side of the tent down. I wish it had a, I wish it, I don't know, did it? I can't remember, did it have a canopy? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it did it actually. Yeah, so it's got, I mean, it's got a lot of storage on the inside of the tent. We used, I mean, I used that a lot. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just convenient, so you don't have to like. Put your toiletries and stuff in it, because I, I don't bring my ba my backpack into the tent. Yeah. I throw my rain cover onto it and just leave it you know, up against a tree, just because it gives me more space in the tent. Yeah. I don't really feel like getting like stabbed with buckles and clips and, that and stuff so but it's always good to have extra stuff on the inside we, we put everything we needed water yeah. bottles everything like that um want to talk about the, the setup yeah setup's pretty simple i mean it's a standard dome tent pretty long poles though the yeah. poles are are pretty long i feel like 15 feet long <laughs> they're pretty no exactly but it's because of how high the dome goes yeah it's a four four foot yeah, so pretty easy to set up it um in each corner it uses a key ring with a uh, like a little aluminum pin standard for, for the most part. Um, I mean, really no issue. It has one smaller pole that goes goes in the front to pull the, the fly out over the, the front window. I mean, all, all in all, I mean, really easy setup. Took like, what, five minutes? I wish I beat yeah. him setting up the tent, just putting that out there. Excellent. He started before me, though. Uh, not a I, but, I, but my startup time before him <laughs> was, <laughs> not, was still much less than the time it took him to finish. I was also in a okay. less open area. He's making excuses. He's, he's, gonna, he's like, oh, you know, I can do this faster than your own voice club. Well, nope, I beat him. Okay, he beat me. I did. Fair and square. But, but yeah, setup's pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy. Standard dome tent. Goes through the little sleeves and pop it up. It is freestanding, which is really nice. I mean, you can just, I mean, it's not ideal, but you can just get in it without even staking it down in a pinch. So. And yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. So yeah, overall, um, I don't know. I think we have different feelings on the tent. Overall, uh, the tent, I don't know. I'd say it's definitely not a backpacking tent, but it's a casual hiker's tent, car tent, like a, or if you have, it's a, it's a just-in-case tent. For 30 bucks, it's pretty good. If you want to do a budget trip, definitely worth looking at this one because of the price and yeah. it's, it fits two people easily if you're doing one person. It's huge on the inside. I mean, it's yeah. absolutely big on the, like, big enough for, I'm 6'2", so, like, this tent, 
my tr my head and my feet touch yeah. the ends. <laughs> this on this, it's you got plenty of room, plenty of head space. You can actually close on inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> you can move. So, what do you think? I'll give it a pass conditionally, like I said. So, if you're on a super studget, it, it works. You can you could probably get smaller than this, but you're not going to get the room. Like you can get smaller, like more compact tents in this price range, but they they're not as big set up. But they're still two person, but they're not as big. So, so I give it a, a go ahead, but uh, understand that it's that it's not perfect. I will give it a pass. Um, I say, unless you're in the market and absolutely need a tent tomorrow for thirty bucks, look for a tent that's a little bit better. You can get stuff real cheap if you shop around. I'm sure you can find a tent better than this for thirty bucks. But if you don't have the time to shop around and you don't have the time to wait. I mean, it's there, it's decent, it'll do what you need it to do, it'll <laughs> keep you dry, keep you warm, keep you gloves off of you. But, so. so yeah, you heard it from us, we both give it a pass. So if uh, you have an experience with this tent, or you know somebody's had experience with this tent, or you're interested in buying this tent, you want to know more, or you just have a thought on the tent, or if you don't like us and you want to call us mean names, if you, <laughs> yeah. if just you, put it if below. If you want to give me any good recipes for quiches, I like quiches. Oh, quiche is pretty good. It's yeah. like an egg souffle. Yeah. Okay. But if any of that is applicable, form in the comments below. We'll be sure to reply, John or I. Um, and also, uh, special shout out to our first subscriber, Hamish, Hamish, Hamish Mackenzie Seven. Check out his videos. Dude's a badass. Anyways, on that note. John, Pat, surviving on the cheap. See you next time. That's what we do.